tell you all um and what i wanted to talk about today like i said is a spiritual body count this is related to sex all right so the reason i am focus on the young ladies today because i have been in your position and i know some of the ladies out there especially being misled we didn't have social media when i was coming up so this social media um lifestyle is something totally different but because i am um someone who stays up to date with the times and trends and happenings and things like that i'm well aware of the effects that social media has on young influential mindsets that have not yet quite developed right and so there's a lot of trickery, foolery, and buffoonery being put out there to push in a certain narrative and to basically have the people that are watching it in tune stuck on stupid. So you young ladies out there who are maybe searching for um, a man or a, you know, a significant other, I'm not going to say man, what, you know, because whatever your preference is, um, no, you know, no shade, no hate or anything like that. But in, in any event, if you are searching for a significant other, and you are offering sex or sexual activity as a actual offering of some type of value then i just want to let you know that it's very likely that you will um get played out very quickly with whoever you're offering it to especially if you offer it quickly and if that is all you have to offer that could also get you shelved really quick all right so i just wanted to bring a different perspective to mind and make you all understand or help you all to understand what happens when you go around collecting all these bodies because we do not realize that we're spiritual beings you know what I'm saying we're only focused on the human part of it a lot of times we only see what's in front of us we don't realize the effects that it has on us but we also don't realize that um we are attracting certain type of behaviors we're attracting certain type of situations and you're attracting certain type of energies to you all right so have you ever wondered why you might keep attracting the same type of significant other even though you say that's what you don't want well let me tell you something anytime that you entertain things that you do not want um the universe does not understand your confusing messages all right because even though you're thinking and saying um in your mind that you don't want this and you don't want that the universe only knows um is only aware of the present moment so it's not aware of the past it's not aware of the future if in the present moment you keep entertaining energies that you say you do not want to entertain then the universe is going to work in your favor to keep producing and attracting those same results um one thing that you have to understand is if, when you're attracting certain energies if you can't figure out how to defeat them or how to not let them override and overshadow you and overpower you then it's very likely that you'll continue to meet that same energy over and over and over again they're just going to keep showing up in a different vessel because nine times out of ten you're asking for a change you're asking